Good afternoon. <coughs> Try that one again. Good afternoon. <laughs> no lights today because it's earlier than usual, so it's actually daylight still. Times are changing. Um, welcome to my chat. This is episode number 946, if you're keeping track. And today we're going to talk about the third, yes, the third key to rocking your 2019. Excuse me, 2020. <laughs> Transpose the year. That was embarrassing. Okay, let me start over. Hi. <laughs> Um, this is your third. <laughs> this is your third key to an amazing 2020. Now we've got it clear. Let me talk. Okay. Um, and are you ready? Now, the reason why I say it's third key because I did two talks previously, yesterday and the day before, that were both about how to start your new year right. So I'll give you a quick recap, cliff notes of those two. Although I do recommend you watch both of those in their entirety because there's some good points in them. And then I'll give you the third today, third key. And also where these belong, by the way, because I have a offering that I mentioned at the back end. And by the way, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I usually do this at 5 p.m. Pacific time, but because I'm going to be at um, a social gathering at 5 o'clock, I'm doing them an hour earlier. So, ta-da, surprise. Um, and also, I'll really let you know that back into the broadcast where you can find the replays in case you haven't seen my talks before. So, the first key I talked about on New Year's Day, which was two days ago, was about having clear affirmations. First of all, I spoke about how I personally believe resolutions suck. <laughs> and if you've seen my Facebook wall today, I posted tons of memes and jokes and things about how resolutions don't work um, and if you've done resolutions in the past you may experience this for yourself I know myself I have many people I know I have there's probably some statistic out there where 93% of all people who create resolutions lose them in the first three to three weeks I don't know if it's true or not but it feels like that so just so you know I'm, I'm throwing arbitrary numbers out I'm not saying it's true however most people's resolutions tend to die before the end of the first month just to be clear what I recommend instead is intentions. And the way I define it for myself, because it's really clear for me personally, that may not be clear for you, but the way I define it, is resolutions are ego-driven, because they're, I'm resolving, gonna make it happen, gonna get it done and, and create some sort of thing. It's kind of the way resolutions are built. Whereas intentions, to way, my way of thinking, are defined to be a way you set things in motion and then you invite spirit in to work with you. I, I say this, intentions are spirit-infused, so to speak. It sounds very, um, chef oriented <laughs> that's the way to describe it so resolutions are ego based like pushing human type stuff intentions involve a higher power so to speak so that's the first one yesterday's talk which is part two or key number two was about the power of vision boards and i broke down vision boards and and intentions how to frame them how to phrase them how to create them in a way that is effective so definitely watch the last two broadcasts i'm not going to give you all the details you have to watch new year's day and yesterday which was 944 945 episodes this is 946, I think. Yeah, 946. So today, you're going to talk about one more thing. Another key for an amazing new year. So are you ready? Let's jump in. Um, I'm, I dropped the hint yesterday in a way and mentioned it. But what I'm going to say about today is the biggest thing to make 2020 an amazing year, if you have some ideas of intentions, vision boards, desires for this new year, to put it simply, you got to feel them. And what I mean by that is not just go, oh, I feel so good about it. No, that's, that, no, that's different. Because, because, well, that's part four. Okay, maybe the part four tomorrow. <laughs> things drop in as I'm talking. <clears throat> but the reality is, is that to really have a clarity of what you want to create, what result you want to have, you've got to practice a thing that I would have called, or I've heard before, the term embodiment. Now, what that means, literally, is to take it on physically. So if you're looking to have, um, let's throw one out there, a new relationship this year and you don't necessarily have it at this point. It's tempting to put down an intention and a vision board to start creating ideas about a relationship, but you're not feeling it at all. It's really hard to get yourself to that result if you don't have any sense of feeling for what you want to have. So embodiment in this context is the feeling of basically, how would it feel, and you get to experience this, how would it feel if you were in that amazing relationship? How would it feel if the vision you have, the vision board you recreated, your affirmations you set up, your intentions you designed, were actually happening now. How would you feel? Because that, if you bring that together, is kind of the icing on the cake for what I said the last two days. Again, intentions, vision boards are key components of creating a clarity of where you want to go in the new year. Why don't you turn back up? Intentions and vision boards are key components to help you create where you want to go, period, not just the new year, but any time of the year. So they're not time specific, just to be clear about that. So you can do intentions, vision boards, and embodiment anytime you want. If you want to create a new experience in your life, be it a career, relationship, more money, travel, health, any area of your life you want to put energy into, 
do these three things and you can add the fourth bonus. I may mention talk about more tomorrow is affirmations. And you create more of a um, a greater a greater likelihood of it happening, put it that way. Because if you don't do any of this stuff, it's very likely these things won't happen. Again, arbitrary numbers. Ninety six percent of people who don't do this won't get the results they ask for. I'm just again I'm just throwing numbers out there. But the numbers are pretty high, just to be clear, from from anybody's research or anybody's idea of what would happen. Because we as human beings are much more effective when we affirm what we want, positive direction, we put it in the present moment till we state declaring it now happening. We create visual reminders and then we create kinesthetic feeling reminders as well. That creates a, create a powerful sense of direction, focus, and where we want to go. That's the way it works. That's the way we are as human beings. We function better that way. And one of the most powerful things we can do is what I call embodiment. Well, it's not me just calling it. Everybody calls it that. But embodiment literally, well, it's not literally, figuratively, Embodiment basically means the practice of embodiment when it comes to your visions and intentions and ideas that we want to have is to imagine trying it on like a new set, new, new outfit, new, new clothes. Stretch into it, you know, put more ground in it. Feel into what it feels like. You want to walk around your house or you can go out in the world and act as if in a way. But you're not acting, you're feeling different. So when you're feeling what's happening, you're feeling the embodiment experience. So basically it's a matter of being in a place where you can imagine yourself being in that situation right now, loving it. So again, these these actually tie into the affirmations. Well, I didn't talk about affirmations, but the intentions and the vision boards, because each one of those all has the same thing involved. Present moment, positive, directional. Same thing with embodiment. You need to have, I don't say you need, but most effective, um, most, most efficacious. The most effective way of doing this, <laughs> trying to use fancy words that are not working today, is to really get clear about what it is you want to have and then imagine you already have it. Not to disown it, not to pretend, but to know what it will feel like when you get there. It's almost like you're creating a resonant frequency, a resonance frequency. So if you want to have an amazing relationship and you know what it feels like, you've, drawn, you've written about it, you've journaled about it, you've prayed about it, you've meditated about it, you've worked with me to get a clear vision of it. Because one thing I'll have you do if you're working together is have you do embodiment practices because what happens is you're then bringing the energy into your beingness. Now, if you're a woman, the power of attraction is based on your embodiment energy. You feel into what you want to feel, and that becomes a resonant frequency, like a magnet that pulls into you what it is you like to have. Whether it's relationship, money, career, whatever it is, it starts with embodiment. You still got to do some physical stuff, like steps and actions, actions and things, but it still starts with you having the embodiment feeling of him owning how it feels. So that's key. Now, if you're a man, that also helps you in a way. But instead of being a place where it draws it in. It makes it more resonance when you go out in the world. You can see it when you your 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 know it when you see it, so to speak. Or you see, or as one of my teachers talks about, uh, Michael Beckwith, you'll you'll see it when you know it. Other way around, and that's intentional because the idea being is that you you bring it home to yourself. You embody the feeling. You know what it feels like. So when you're out in the world, and you let's, let's do this. Let's do the example this way. I'm already thinking about it in my head. As a man looking for a relationship, it is tempting to play the numbers game. I know I've been tempted and not done many times. However, the more powerful thing is if you want to know what sort of relationship you want to be in, just like the ladies, I'm talking both here, is you've got to be a bit clear about what you want. That starts with both genders, independent of male or female, or straight or gay. This is true for everybody. Get clear about what you want. When you have that clarity and you start doing the intentions, vision boards, and then embodiment, because we all do this, men and women, then you get to create an experience of what it feels like. The next piece after that for, for men and women is the feminine, excuse me, let me say this way. The feminine energy beings, because there's some men who are feminine, can be magnetic to draw in that energy by embodying it first so they know what it feels like so they can start drawing in what it feels like to match that. The masculine hearted people, mostly men who are straight, although some masculine men are gay. I'm, I'm trying to cover all bases here, so just be, be gentle with me. But the masculine energy is a directional focused energy. So basically, guy, gentlemen, if you're looking for a relationship, if you don't have direction, then it's like, it doesn't matter where you go. If you want to get clear about what you want, first it starts internally with vision, intention, and embodiment. And then you know when you go out of the world, when you meet somebody who resonates with what you feel, because you have a resonant frequency now, you know that somebody you want to check out more about and get to know them better and to find out if there's somebody who is a good match for you. Because the thing about it is your resonance of this, free, this, this embodiment practice can create the results you want but if you're not accurate on your res your embodiment you might find you're off by a couple of steps by a couple of things so you might meet somebody 
I was talking to one of my, my uh, accountability partner earlier about this with one of her clients. Buying everything you think you want and then suddenly there's a piece missing. The first thing is you know that you're close. Not that, you did, but not that anything's wrong, but you're close. So then you know this isn't going to work out because maybe the one thing is the qualities you really need to have is not in that relationship. Then you simply know, reset, move again. Not saying you dump the person, but the relationship ends. You don't go, oh my God, it ended it's so bad. You go, okay, so I learned something from that. See, the thing about relationships when they progress is you've got to learn. If you don't learn, you can repeat the same thing again and again. That, by the way, it's a whole other teachings in my book. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of pieces coming through now because this is really about what's starting the new year right. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I have a, I have a, I've obviously got an offering for you. I've been talking about it for the last two weeks. But the thing about it is when you know what you want, embodiment helps you create the energetic feeling which is much more visceral. We as human beings have much more impact by what we feel than what we see. Now, you may be a more visual versus kinesthetic, but the reality is you feel something's more visceral, it's more grounded, it's more, more in your body, embodiment in your body, than just seeing something which is in your head. So embodiment is, feet, is vital in the step. So this is step, again, key number three. I might do more tomorrow, but I'm just going to give a quick piece of step number four, which is affirmations. If you want to go in detail, you can let me know in the comments. I'll do more about it tomorrow, but I didn't plan on doing a fourth aspect. I was going to do the first three, but the truth is it's a vital piece too because affirmations are sort of like the, the grease that moves the wheel, so to speak. So, yeah, that kind of works. <laughs> I'm just throwing analogies out there and hoping they land, and this one seems to. So that's another piece of the puzzle. So what I'm going to mention to you is that what's coming up, it's supposed to be next week, but I'm waiting on the group size to really come together, is I have a new offering, which is a group um, gathering called the BFF Masterclass. Now these things I think things I talked about, the first day intentions, second day uh, vision boards, and the third day today by embodiment and affirmations, as four pieces, four pieces, will all be in the BFF Masterclass, but in much more detail. I'm giving you basically the Cliff Notes version all three days. So you'll be actually going through this practice with support from me and a lot more stuff, way more stuff besides this. This is just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. And I recommend you check it out. If you're looking to set your year up and your decade up for success, my BFF Masterclass is the sure way of doing that. I'm very biased about it too, obviously. So I'll put the link in the comments. If you want to get it verbally, I'll tell you it's, it's um, barryselby.com forward slash BFF. Barry, sorry, Balance, Freedom, and Flow. That's what it stands for. Breast Fan Forever, you'll discover that in the course. So I recommend you check that out. Um, frankly, most people, when they watch these videos, may take one of these things to heart, but usually most people don't take all three to heart. And you may not have seen all three. So if you join my BFF Masterclass, you'll get everything and then some. I just added today, by the way, to the webpage, you can go check it out. Um, there's, the, there's the regular registration and there's the, the upper tier. Upper tier, if I call it? Basically, there's, a, there's an extra, there's a higher level. People are really committed to go deep with some private coaching thrown in as well. So I recommend you check it out again, barryselby.com forward slash BFF. Link will be in the comments. Recommend it highly. I'm very biased about it because it works. And what else do I want to say? Um, yes, I have a book out. So you can, you know what, go check out my website too because besides that course, I have a lot of other offerings out there that will get you where you want to go. Um, relationships, relationship guidance is part of my teaching, but this is getting bigger than that now, which is why I'm launching the BFF Masterclass, not the True Love Masterclass. That's a side effect of it, by the way. So get get yourself over there, take a look at it, see what you think of it. And if you want to jump in, great. If you have any questions about it, message me, please, over social media or email me either way. And if you have a question about this broadcast, how to do embodiment, well, I'll give you some of the answers if you do put comments below, but if you want to get all the answers, BFF Masterclass is where it starts. Um, I thank you for watching. As always, I'm normally, oh, by the way, this is my daily Facebook Live that's normally at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I'm doing it early today because I'm going to be out at the time of my normal broadcast. Um, it is a commitment for me to serve this way. This is why I've been doing it for over three years now, which is this why I'm episode number 946. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, first of all, join me live every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually, <laughs> on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash Barry Selby. If you want to the replay, you can go to my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. We can certainly watch broadcasts there, although not all of them are showing there because Facebook doesn't keep them all visible. So if you want, you can like my page over there and you can watch them. Alternatively, you go to my YouTube channel, and on my YouTube channel, there are all 940, whatever it is, broadcasts for you to watch. So you go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. Please subscribe. 
There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine where all the broadcasts from the newest artists are listed. Search by keywords, titles, whatever you want to look for, and you'll find what you're looking for and get the help you need. Again, check out my BFF Masterclass. It is the best way you can start your new year. Yes, it will work. I trust. Trust me, it will. Um, and with that, thank you for watching. Again, link will be in the comments. I mentioned it already. And uh, if you have any questions about this topic, please put them below. And I'll see you again tomorrow. I appreciate you watching as always. And uh, as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.